Hey, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? And here we are taking a look at a Tango AR demo, one of the more fun demos that we got at IO 2017, especially when you consider that it is being powered by the ASUS Zenfone AR. Verizon in the US is going to be selling this phone, so you could get your hands on Tango sooner than you expect. A couple of them entertaining, one of them made for education, and another one made for some real utility. Now, the first one that we had here was Welcome to Oz. And by Oz, we mean the Wizard of Oz. So you can fire up the Zenfone AR our application, the Tango app, and be able to just impose the characters from Wizard of Oz onto pretty much any surface. Um, after selecting a particular area that serves as the boundaries of the Tango area, then you will be able to have either the lion or even the Tin Man, not only rendered on the floor, but also used as companions because you could take a picture with them through the camera application. And because this is Tango, you can walk around the characters and see even more than just one dimensional view. Moving into a little bit more utility, the Gap app, which is available already in the Google Play Store and requires Tango, is a way for you to take a look at clothing and kind of put together a wardrobe of sorts before even having to go to the store. Render out a virtual mannequin and you can choose all the different kinds of clothes that it can wear. And you can even see how things change when you go from small, medium, large to all of the different sizes. Mannequins include, of course, men and women sizes, and then you will be able to sort of put different combinations together and walk around the virtual mannequin to see how everything looks. But utility takes on a whole different level when it comes to the constructor. Now, this is what Tango was originally touted to be, which is an apparatus for people that might be in construction to figure out the kinds of layouts or to even know exactly how everything is laid out in a particular area. Now, you can just imagine a lot of contractors using Project Tango in order to run around an area and just see where the furniture could be or where different pipes could be, or really just using your imagination, you can figure out anything about a particular space. A quick scan of the people that were around us and the area that was right in front of us brought up a slightly low resolution render of the immediate area. However, after allowing the app to sort of go through the data a little bit deeper, what came out was a pretty high quality render of the immediate area around us. We thought this might be a great tool for game development. After all, you could make a mock-up of the world inside of a video game and then use Tango and this constructor app in order to virtualize it. And then finally, we have Expeditions. Now, Expeditions is something that I got a look at at a previous Google I.O. where using cardboard, everyone was synced up to the same audio source and were being taught a number of different subjects and details based upon what was being shown in the cardboard application. So you would be able to actually experience what was being taught to you and get out of the books. Now, Tango just made this a little bit more interactive, uh, embedding graphics onto the real world so that students would be able to run around and actually see the objects in front of them while learning about them. And after a number of different announcements for Tango AR and just seeing how things have come in the last year, it makes us really excited to see Tango come on other devices. This Zenfone AR is already a nice looking phone that is coming to the US on a major carrier, and we can only hope to see this become a trend in smartphones today and in the near future. Tango has come a long way and the high fidelity of the rendering that we played with with these phones and everything that we saw was really impressive. So Tango could become a very viable tool and something that might become invaluable for a lot of users who want to take their augmented reality to the next level. Keep it tuned to Android Authority for even more and don't forget to check out our coverage on androidauthority.com on everything including Tango AR and you can see everything that we did here on the YouTube channel as well. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because we are your source for all things Android.